So, YouTube, hey. I wanted to make a video today because, um, because I was checking my horoscope and it was saying, like, how, um, creativity is whatever you do for, whatever you do, you just do without any type of economic value, whatever you get out of it. And for me, I definitely get, um, no economic value out of talking or talking about shit but it's what i do like it's what i do for the sake of doing it and that finally came up on me today you know i have a south house south house hi i have a 12th house south node in the sign of leo and to me the 12th house with leo is such a conundrum behind the scenes and on stage like what the fuck you know and i've really been going through a couple of different things um about it basically like back and forth like what does this be what could it be interpreted as you know south node your past life karma your north node your purpose for your life here like i read all this shit on the internet google's your friend you know what i'm saying so anyways North house Aquarius, uh, six, North node, sixth house Aquarius. So, North node, sixth house Aquarius, I'm like, what the fuck do I do there? It's acts of humanitarianism, service to others. Um, obviously, that's what I should do every day. Well, I'm sitting up here giving advice all fucking day long, counseling motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? But it's also finding value um, in yourself. Or value in the services that you offer, I guess. I don't know. I read a lot about it. So, I guess I decided to just start making this video and talk about the shit that I be talking about. Um, and I guess the one thing I really wanted to talk about, now that the video been going for two fucking minutes and you know my whole chart. Because, hey, Mercury and Gemini in the 10th house. That's why I'm making the video. Anyway. <laughs> um... It's fucking saying is the eye. I guess the whole point of the shit is the third eye. Um, I wanted to talk about that. That's some shit that I talk about to my people around me all the time. Um, you know, I really didn't care too much about the third eye until I really um, had an intuitive understanding of 369. Um, I watched the mathematical um, layout of it on YouTube many times. People have made, made very nice videos. Shout out to them. I hope I'm one day ever as talented um, a video maker as some of these motherfuckers out here. Anyways, so... Um, that's my mama texting me. So, anyways, the whole fucking thing that I was getting at was, um, I one day was watching one of these 369 videos, and it was like this, images were superimposed over each other, and it triggered something in my subconscious, and, um, I just started really focusing on my third eye, and I'm very into words are spells. If you know me, it's something that I talk about all the time i am i love the etymology of words i love just the intuitive vibe you get off of letters um i have a page in a note in my notebook dedicated to each letter just so i can write down my thoughts and my feelings that i get from each letter like words are spells is something that like i'm deep into and anyway so along with that so i'm like I was watching the Joe Rogan podcast. Um, I mean, who doesn't watch Joe Rogan? We all love him, right? So, and Elon Musk was on there. This was like his interview, like right after he had his kid during COVID and stuff. And he was talking about his Neuralink thing in the brain. And he was talking about um, how Alexa and uh, like, hey Google and all of these AI things, really they mimic the human brain function. There's an awake word. Um, Alexa or Hey Google, you set your awake word and it triggers a 
the device to wake up and then it also they have like they can figure out what you're saying through an association of neural networks of the words so a simulated brain almost right so that's how our brain works some whatever about elon musk weird shit drilling into your head and all that extra but let's talk about the word i so if i think of my i as if i were to command it like I were to command Alexa, right? Let's like let's think about this. I wash the dishes. I take out the trash. I do this. I do that. Whatever. And then the I goes and it does it, right? Okay. So if the I, I goes and it does it based on the commands, now let's think about the English language. Like I am going to wash the dishes. I was washing the dishes. We have these past, present, and future tense words that make our perspective of the world linear, okay? And if you think that I'm crazy, think about the Native Americans forced into English-speaking schools. Think about um, England colonizing the whole fucking world with the English language. And I think that's why they couldn't take India, bitch, Hindu pride. Why? Because it's the land of languages. Oh my God, there's so many. But anyways, um, and, but I digress with all that. Um, so I, so if you were commanding your I to do things, um, so I miss you. I love you. Um, is deep and I cannot <laughs> say enough about my thought process. I've shared that with a lot of people. Um, nobody ever really feels me on it. You feeling me on it? Definitely highlight me in the comments. I will always comment back. I'm like obsessive talker, especially about shit like this. But um, yeah, so let me know what you think. I mean, what you, there's an eye on top of the pyramid, right? Like, uh, I want to say more. Like, there's so much more that I want to say. But I just feel like I need to stop right now. So I am. Um, see you guys later.